two words of that guy. Yep, that's everything. The little Nas cowboy thing. The uh, Old Town Road, I think it's the Old Town Road. <laughs> I like how you said, I'll catch up to you sometime. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> Some point I couldn't agree more. Shit. Yeah, I'm not doing well. I'm not trying very hard. Going from 33 to 34. And the, progr the progress bar across the top is really nice. The uh, fact that when you get back into the game, it saves exactly where you were is really, really nice. The simplicity between, um, you know, when you move from obby to obby, there's like basically just two colors, or it's clear which what color the kill brick is, kind of idea. I definitely took a lot of pages out of this uh, out of this game. If, if it wasn't for the simplicity uh, note itself, right, that that they're close and it's easy, and it's massively addictive. Like I would play this game for hours. Oh, this rainbow concept is brilliant. So I'm going through this rainbow tunnel. Oh, I haven't done any tunnels yet. I should totally do, totally do a tunnel. I gotta write that down. Yeah, that's my first note. Tunnel. <laughs> Dude, we were talking about tunnels like two weeks ago. Funny thing about uh, taking notes and learning things is you forget two thirds of things you learn every day. And what's more interesting is even if I wrote it down, I necessarily wouldn't remember. And even if I did remember, I still wouldn't have a good implementation for it. And now, I do. Go, ergo, uh, stage 35 to 36. It really just pushes my Um, it's basically just, uh, to kill, like, so for the rainbow thing, it like, uh, Remember I said just moments ago, it makes it really clear which is a kill brick just by like being a different color for the same color for the whole obby. How do you do that for a rainbow? Well, it make it simply just darker within that same uh, structure. Really cool. Dang, you're 19, you're coming up fast. I'm not going for the fast by any means, but I'm excited to see <laughs> This is genius. I'm looking at doing crushing this hobby. I know, right? And doesn't it just make you feel good? <laughs> over and over again. That's my goal. That's my goal. To make you feel good over and over again. You really are crushing this hobby, dude. You just burned through like four levels in the last minute. <laughs> Everybody is like slowly jumping and I'm just like run jumping. Constantly. I keep seeing people like fall to their death as I'm like there. As I'm like standing here wet on this platform. Dude, you're only uh, 12 levels behind me. Nice. I'll be there in a couple of minutes. I appreciate your diligence to catch up. And like, I mean, you can just see how easy some of these are, but it's like, well, you're right. We still should have had that kind of thing. Just because it, you know, just, just because it gets easier, it gets harder, and it gets easier. I, I did specifically try to make things increasingly harder in my level, but I'll be honest, it's hard to make things increasingly harder. You know what I mean? So, uh, simple things like you know endless staircases and uh, with kill bricks or things that disappear is ultimately the goal. I also love this code how it. It doesn't really let you go back, and I'm I'm okay with letting you go back, but I'm not so okay with letting you get points when you go back, and that's really the only way I can code it right now to let you get points to get points here. Wait, I'm on 30. Oh, you're on 37. Okay. Because honestly, I'm. Oh yeah, you must be. I must be able to see this one. Oh, I do. I do. I do. See, that's the one I was just telling you about, the rainbow tunnel. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was like, good, I gotta make this down. And see, this is super simple, not a kill brick in sight. Sure, you could fall to your death, but, you know. And then this one, staircase, super simple. Neither of these are even kill bricks, they're just fun colors. It's genius. Fun colors and shapes. Although I near, and you can't climb it because I nearly fell to my death. Yeah, fun colors and shapes, right? And that's honestly what a draw for anybody. 
through challenges, specifically uh, if you want to challenge if you want to challenge but there may there's plenty of zen players out there and as a as a child a child is far more to be zen player than a challenge player see this is what i was talking about with the z and y yeah dude this is genius i'm literally trying to make a tree right now i'm gonna be like a tree oh no quicksand and level yellow and green is gonna be a tree so there's like really good idea for that and i've been trying to do cool stuff like this like i just can't really wrap my head around some of these shapes you know that's why I need to take these notes. Like, well, this is like, your... yeah, oh. this is this is what I meant. So even though these two checkpoints are like 50 studs apart in the Z plane, they're they're hundreds of studs apart because they are, you know, in uh, whoa. So wait, wait, wait. What do you mean they're hundreds of studs? They're hundreds of studs apart in. Um, point to point. Because uh, you went up and around the tree. Oh, you mean like because on the diagonal? Well, on the diagonal, but also on your character path. Up another 50, you're saying. So over a 50 and up 50. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so even though technically, if you look at it from the start of one checkpoint to the end of one checkpoint in the, in the X plane, they were only 50 studs apart. But if you count the fact that we just went around that tree up and around, right? We just went and, uh, you know, you, you exponentially increase the distance that you're actually going while only having oops. Dude, it's awesome you caught up to me at that point. I like, literally just started getting hurt. This is the first time they did that slide thing. That is awesome. I need to get that code for the slide. I think I just need to download something. Oh, I just need to download something to figure out that code is. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one's really misleading. And this is something I hesitate with. You know, maybe with a clear brick, a more transparent brick, but that oh, purple one. Oh, wow. Those go translucent as you run across them. Did you see that? No, which one? Oh, shit. It's getting, like, right when you caught up to oh. me. Is oh, crap. Totally I'm right. way ahead of you. I be oh, dog. That's all right. I'm on the uh, triangle. I think I'm gonna do this one soon. This one's cool. Oh, I love all of these abbeys. I love all of these abbeys so much. Aaron, normally I take uh, full-on screenshots, which actually because of slides, I do that too. But uh -huh. I'm taking like individual pictures just so I can get the abbeys. Hey, like that circle one too. They're, they're just like elegant in ways that are, uh, you know, pure artistic. Because obviously, you know, oh, you don't no. have to jump over things a uh, hundred different ways, but uh, if it looks a hundred different ways, then you do, kind of thing. And this is. Do you want to play with this? Oh, dude! Really? Uh, Dude, this dip thing is cool too. I love this so much. <laughs> I just saw somebody fly off of the fly off of uh, the slide. Dude, I've got like a hundred new abbeys to make. Cool. Cool. Of the ball, the sky balls. See this dude. I have oh, sky balls. Wow. Really, yeah. There's like ball pit sky balls in it. And you can make <laughs> some <laughs> killing <ball>. people. <laughs> that is awesome. Man, if you die like four times in a row at the like, castle, you get stage and tries to charge you for it. <laughs> hey, uh, this next stage, you need to wait. What stage are we on? Oh, you're right. Where are we caught up? Is this one you're go, now, go, now, go, now, go 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 now. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about for uh, for my, uh, this is level yellow. Level yellow is going to be the quicksand. This is the, literally what it's going to be. Yeah, so what I was doing was I was jumping like this and getting rid of them while people were coming across. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so mean. That's so mean. I mean, look at this awesome staircase, right? So, it's basic stairs, wait, and wait. obviously it's easier in my mind than the one that just came up, and so my issue is making an easier one after a hard one, and that's really a challenge for me. No pun intended. Yeah, but um, hear me out, right? So, so like, right now, right? I tried to get back to you, okay? But just as an example, let me show you. Right, I get all the way over here, I do the balls, I get onto the thing with the different colored circles and I accidentally kill myself and I get here. Yeah. So How do you feel about at, that? at like level 50, right? What if like something was back at level 43 that gave you like a crap ton of points or something like that? Okay. Two things. One, my level is almost certainly going to be released where you can go backwards and get respawned backwards. Yeah. Two, it, that means if you fall from a high height and land on the lower pad, that you get respawned there on the lower pad next time you die. Um, three, that would be a great reason why it separates the levels in uh, you know, red separates, orange separates, yellow kind of thing, because you can fall to those specific heights. <laughs> And four, I kind of like it, you know, um, I prefer that over uh, the permanent advancement. Oh, are you kidding me? That this level is, this staircase is phenomenal. I just love all these. Dude, you, you literally fell off a straight stair. You fell off a Are you alright, man? Aaron's like, dude, you went right up the left. I was literally watching that. Oh, watch out for them, it'll be. Yeah. And see, I, I, I want to like, oh, I want to be like more, um, I want to be more obvious. Like their kill breaks in this level are much less obvious. Now, sure, once you get a hang of it, if those I'm are cleverly done though. It is very cleverly done, right? I agree. It's it's not intrusive and it's still appropriate in many levels because it's easy, right? This is not a difficult game. Kill break is, kill break is half of this game. You will. Because falling itself is part. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. Did I kill you? Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> they don't have. <laughs> they don't have sprints. They don't have sprints. You literally were watching and disappear, and you're like, "Oh well, I'll just fall. It'll be fine." Like you didn't know that was gonna happen. First of all, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Yes, you did! <laughs> Second of all, I was right behind Aaron, and jumping, I believe, is as fast as walking. And I was jumping. And if it's not as fast as walking, it should be faster than walking. Wait, wait, and wait. I was jumping, and I still went to my death. No one's, no one's close by. So that's what, that's what you do. You just, as they, as they come up, you, like, eliminate one of them, and, <laughs> and then they... Can't finish because they can't jump. So funny. All right. <laughs> yeah, like here you probably fall through red, right? Yeah, I like that, but it's really misleading in my mind, you know. And so ultimately, I would just put a. Ultimately, I would just not do it, right? And I would just put these this zigzag plane, which is really cool. I haven't even done this. <laughs> that's, that's how far behind I am. And actually, when it comes down to it, um, and the repeat, uh, the repeat challenge, like this is really easy, right? And each level is designed in uh, Fib Tower is designed to integrate a new facet of uh, code, if you will. Yeah, well, and, we're getting um, there. Yeah, no shit, right? Look, and uh, I see. Look to your left. Yeah. The moving thing, the new facet of code. So That's exactly what I'm talking about, dude. Yeah, see, exactly. And so each, you know, each level is designed to integrate stuff like that. And so definitely it gets a little bit harder each time, which I couldn't agree with. Um, but things like the red level, as it stands, could stand to be more in depth. And do you say no? I agree in, in, in certain aspects. <laughs> and we should. Maybe you. Well, he does. Too. Aaron's coming, Aaron's coming. the last one? I don't know if the blue one kills you, but you're jumping over him, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, he kills you. I'm going to assume that it does. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is so cool. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is this is the one that I'm talking about. Dude, this is like solid obby. I could like take notes for days, you know. 
I'm not gonna buy your 25. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I keep watching you, like walk right into them. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, don't God. know why that's so funny, but <laughs> to, to me, it's it's hilarious for some reason. Dude, honestly, I've had so much fun building hobbies, and you can see how easy it is, and how in depth it can quickly get, and why why it could be so much fun, dude. Honestly, dude, I, I, I wonder I, if these green things. Yeah, you go. Yep. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thanks for checking that out. <laughs> and see, it like, it's subtle, right? Obviously, you know, I, I would want to somehow make it clear that kills, and that's just my attachment, to be honest. And, 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 you know, slap, slap on my wrist. I'm not gonna make a good game if I'm attached to an idea that's inflexible. And the idea is a game. I totes my goats agree. No, because you need like ability. You know, there's real thing. Kill brick is a real thing. That's literally all this game is going for, and that has to be a part of its stability. But it also has to do with its flexibility. But you know, this is all uh, like, like, it's also this one's really it's hard. It's also dude. part of the fun, right? Yeah. Because do those green things kill you? I don't know. You know, the stairs had different colored things, and they didn't kill you. <laughs> hey, everybody think that. Okay, so, no, you're absolutely right, and, um, and to some level, you know, that's kind of why I have the obbies as, um, the checkpoints in my level as close as they are. Honestly, this is a huge inspiration for the game. I want to say one out of two of everything I've done in my game has come from an inspiration from this game, uh, as I just quote, I just true quote, because I've done a few obbies, but this one I did after, if you will, becoming a developer in books and it really oh shit I died so many times it killed my character <laughs> oh no what happened oh, no. I don't know dude I don't know I feel like an idiot oh. okay I'm back <laughs> I died so many times it refused to render me okay but it rendered me this time um shit I'm dude, not good at that I, I, I don't understand how this is art are you just jumping over? I'm just gonna jump over. Yeah. Cause I was like trying to walk through them. Nah, man. You just walk okay, in between them. Oh yeah, watch this out for. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> and see, I don't really have anything against the misleading thing, but it is, you know, kind of not really what I'm going for. So like, maybe if I did this with obvious transparent bricks underneath then it would be more cool, more appropriate in my mind. Or straight, you know, it, it is just a kill break point at that point, but it's not really, especially if you consider the way Fib Tower is set up, right? So if you fall through the level and land on something underneath on the regular, then you're gonna have to redo it over and over again. Which is cool by me, to be honest. This purple thing is straight, okay. What up, Double A? You took the left side too? Good call. <laughs> it's like, dude, I've been on level 100 to get back to you. I show up tomorrow and it's like, dude, I made it through 550. <laughs> and I did all the but no. Yeah, I like... Do things. Go ahead. I... Oh, I... <laughs> I feel like this one would kill you, but none of them do. This is just beautiful art, right? Beautiful little abbey art. Look, 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 we're right next to the slide again. This this Wait. place makes a very efficient use of space, in no. my opinion. I know! This is like, this is my dream. You see my levels, I try. Yeah. <laughs> CT dubs, if you start taking notes, try and tell me. Otherwise, I'll end up like three or four levels ahead of you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, no, so the tunnel thing, it, basically, the, I'm like, you know me, I, I try not to take notes because it, it takes away from the, 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 the point, if you will, um, but um, the focus, specifically, and, uh, but the tunnel thing, that was clutch. 
I really need to write that down. Um, and taking pictures really is kind of the solution to the notes. Do, do this it, one, man. Cool. Just do this it. This quasi maze? Oh yeah. shit, I'm doing this quasi maze for sure. Yeah, man, um, that's exactly what I was telling you about. Oh shit, look over to the left. Dude, I love this level so much. <laughs> look at that, the tunnel with the, uh, the uh, kill bricks on the side. Oh! Oh man, this like gave me a little bit. <laughs> oh man. Hold on, hold on, take a picture. Yeah man, take yeah. pictures, take notes. You're totally good. Just tell me when you're doing it that way. <laughs> I don't end up like five levels ahead of you. Dude, I love this part of my maze. The maze is so cool. You can like put little like see-through oh. passages so you can like jump through it in the middle, you know? If you zoom out and uh angle down like bird's eye view your character that becomes so much yeah. easier so um you can as a developer you can actually very easily change how far in or out the player can zoom as i'm sure you've noticed playing oh. through these movies. dude this tunnel is perfectly cool this is so cool we haven't made it past level one no. oh is this okay we still haven't made it past level zero if you will right because we're still on the bottom level and they, I mean, they allow you to advance the whole way through. Like, so if we, in my game, if you die, well, yeah, see, I don't even know how. Maybe a pass would permanently allow you to get to level orange. That'd be kind of cool. Especially then you could actually bring in friends more easily that way. Um, we just got a badge. Stage 75, hollow. Nice. Dude, this arrow one's cool. And it just, like, repeated the same thing over and over again in a sense, you know? And, and my my incessant drive to be more of a challenge every time really, really rubs me the wrong way for that kind of stuff. You know, at some point you get 550 levels in somehow. This one's cool, I like this one. Honestly, it was my inspiration with that Fibonacci Playground in uh, Spy Charge 3D to do an Abbey, more or less, but it was this level that really turned me on to the ease of making an Abbey almost. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? This one's genius. I haven't, I haven't even implemented this yet, and this I'm okay with. You know, earlier I was like, well, it's, un it's like underneath, and it looks like the floor, but you fall through it, right? This one, it doesn't necessarily look like the floor per se. It might as well be a kill brick number two, right? Or a pre-kill brick, <laughs> and that I'm okay with. The, the fake floor I'm not so okay with. The fake brick, more or less, I am okay with. So I'm definitely gonna put that in. That's a great note. Take the fake brick. I'm writing that down. Hold on. <laughs> fake brick. Tunnel. Fake brick. I like the fake brick. Uh, transparent floor. I'll write that down. Thanks for uh, going past. <laughs> Thanks for Sunday school. Hey, Sunday school's never been so fun. All right. Dude, I'm on top of the arrow. Hey, whack. There we go. Can you wait a minute? I'll be yeah. RB. Yeah, you got dude. Let me get on top of it. Holy obvious.
whack. Can you hear me? Hey, Wack. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh, there you are. Dude, I like this one too. This is smart. Jumping between the pipes. So, like, in my mind at this point, um, you know, I would come close to making this, Abby, but the walls on the side add something to it, right? No matter what, it does. It does. It supplies a wall. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't put that in my level yet because I just you know, don't necessarily. Whoa, it looks like there's a floor there, but it's still an invisible floor. It's a non-collidable floor. This is the first time we get moving out there. See, that's kind of what I'm talking about, this. So, like, you can jump over it, but also you need to time it so that either you're jumping over it or you're, like, you know, going across it. I completely agree. Um, and movement of the show up until this? three, you know, is kind of my... Right, right. But like this, this is exactly the the Mario style stuff that I'm talking about. As simple as this is, imagine having like three or four or five of those. Imagine having um, some of them out to the right here to interact over on the other side. You know, so like, yeah, you can go over to the left, but you know, you have to run through. But if you go over to the right or force someone to go over to the right, like, you know, you you can jump over these, but like, imagine if you couldn't jump. Yeah, I imagine if you couldn't jump. Here's one of the ones that you hate. Oh, no. Wow, I can't believe I made it through that. Dude, I like this a lot. Oh my god, oh, oh. <laughs> so this is that's kind of what I'm talking about too like you know that changes depending on how fast those spin so I have a each other. I have a quasi problem and I say quasi problem because you know it's again an attachment thing but it's also it's part of the attachment so I have the red level orange level yellow level right well I feel almost uncomfortable doing it obbies in those levels with the other colors you know what i mean uh so like in the red level i feel uncomfortable doing an obby that maybe has orange parts or yellow parts or green parts Wait, are they like moving when i step on them yeah that's crazy cool they have real physics yeah not, so uh, so depending on how people interact with them you can actually cool. change the way that the, wow. the tiles move that's fantastic. So it's not actually the tiles that's the moving part. It's that pole in the, it's the invisible pole in the middle, and the tiles are like welded to the dude. No, we're about to well go into some dude's mouth. Okay, so I think you better uh, You're right, get your game like, face on. I was about to say this is like a boss level obby right here. It didn't have some pink carpet. Rolled out the pink carpet for us. Huh? Aaron's like, come on, like, there's the red block. You gotta watch over the red block. It's just like, this is basically what would be the uh, boss level obby on my red right now, which is kind of interesting to think. An inside tunnel! Yes! Tied with the tunnel idea! A uh, bunch. I knew I went too soon. And what's funny is this guy's face is, uh, I wonder if you can do it a lot more. Nope. 
um, this guy's face is a homage to the orange because uh, nearly what be two uh, four fifths of the way up the uh, up orange, I noticed it looked like a uh, a cr uh, it looked like it had eyes. Yes, I've been wanting to do one of those walk through walls where you just end up the other side. That's are these kill bricks on the side? <laughs> Find out. They are. <laughs> Dude, this is so smart. I love this. Oh, man. You know what? I wish you got, like, bonus points for... I know, right? <laughs> so in my level, you do. <laughs> in my level, you go back, you get another point. But then you fall off, you're there, you get respawned there. So, it, you know... Mostly because I don't know how to code what they did, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but also because some of it I support more over than what they did. <laughs> you know, their buffer is every time you hit a checkpoint. My buffer is every time you hit a new level, fifth level. And stay in the game forever. Mostly the latter. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm terrified, but this is fucking awesome. That was awesome. Oh, it tricked me. See, like, this is straight up trick, right? There's no way to know at this point because they miss, they, I wouldn't say they misled you the whole time, but they misled you the whole time. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and, and that I, I don't know if I'm okay with. I want some uniformity. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's kind of the... When you, go ahead. That's kind of the the problem, though, right? Like almost. Right? So when you're playing uh, Fib Tower, you collect points every time you hit a checkpoint. So again, if you go back, you get another point, but you also respawn going back. But if you die, just like in Spy Charge 3D, all of that gets reset, including your time. Um, now, of course, I can manipulate that one way or another, but um, I I believe that to be the best form of action. Maybe not, though. That, but you... that's kind of the whole point. Like, you know, you set people up the entire time to make them think that they have to jump on the bricks, and then they do. And then, I mean, you know, if you're if you're making a game where it's like you're trying to get a high score, I can kind of understand that. But then that's also where part of the the risk versus reward comes in, right? Are you, are you willing to risk your points to figure out? And at some point, someone has to. So I can foresee, and here, here's almost a reason to keep. What was happening with that? Here's almost a reason to split between. Um, uh, so I can, for instance, reset your time every time you die, or your points, or neither, or both, kind of thing, right? And, and because that's all I have to. I have to choose from right now. <laughs> I have points and time, and I can rename them, uh, but I don't have any way else to implement them. This this level, they may not even they they appear to use it as points because it shows that way in the upper corner. Um, but the way they get you to respawn uh, from where you died once you leave the game is beyond me. Even if the points were saved, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, but I could. Every time you die in uh, Fib Tower, you could have just your time reset, which makes sense because you died. Or you could have just your points reset because, you know, you died. Or you could have them both reset or neither of them because who cares. Thoughts? Watch out for the floor. Oh, yep, just found that out. <laughs> See, like, in my mind, I it's a killer floor, which, you know, makes actually a lot of sense. I'm going to... It just... I would want it to be more obvious, you know? The floor is lava. Want, yeah, the floor is lava. I want it to be more obvious. And that, and for some extent, I had a badge. Nice. What, did we hit 100? Yeah, we yeah. just hit 100. I see. To some extent, I have that almost built into the framework of how I'm making the level because I just told you I struggle making multiple colors against uh, red, right? Like, I just want to kind of focus on red level. I don't want to have all the colors appear there. 
kind of focus on orange. I don't want other colors to be there or whatever. So at that point, it's almost intrinsic that if there is another color brick or so, that it is, you know, something to be wary of at that point. But there, there's I mean, lots of ways to implement it, and I'm certainly open to suggestions. Yeah, but that that could also be part, the part of the, the genius, right? If you're in the orange level and you come across a purple brick. Oh shit, I see what you're saying. Or a green brick or a blue brick, you know, it probably is not intended for. So that is a simple way to add color, but it's still, um, it's, it still to me just seems like a, a martyr she wrote kind of thing. So this is cool. I like this. This is like enough. Oh man, this is just genius. It's like quasi mazes, because like all of my obvious to date, basically you can see beginning and end, right? And for better or worse, that's just how I've developed them. Um, but these very clearly hide the end simply because they're so freaking huge. Yeah. And that's that's a good idea. I need to do that more. <laughs> oh man, we're coming up to the good stuff now. <laughs> we're on level one and five now. We're getting to the good stuff. Yeah, no, do you see straight ahead of us? That yellow and orange? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, right? That is what's going to show up in yellow, too. That's a quicksand level I'm just getting ready to design. I haven't, like, touched it at all, so I'm really glad we're doing this kind of stuff. I don't think I'd take a video of that, but I, I kind of, like, get this idea. You know, at some I point... I have a video gonna... of it. Do you want me to... I was gonna say at some point you just kind of start building and it kind of builds itself almost. Oh, thank you. There you go. And oh. and you see how the time gets off? Like when we first yeah. got here, it it was a pretty smooth transition. Now, the timing is off. See like see how it's progressing now, so that you can basically yeah. just run. Yeah, you see exactly why now the checkpoints are so freaking close, though, to BH. Oh, well, yeah. And I told, so... Uh, boss on. The retro boss on. The new, uh, the new boss obbies for the most part, we just have uh, like more uh, implementation with multiplayer. So, so do you see how you just waited until the right time to run across there? Yeah, that worked out. That's what I'm talking about with the uh, like the boss obby and the the time investment. Yeah. You know, you yeah. gotta you gotta watch and figure out the pattern, and or wait for the right opportune time and then go and then like something like this, this right seems this the pretty first time I actually move right because all the other ones just spin i don't actually have any code to make it move now i'm sure i can just like go fuck it out of the uh ether space but... right but then what you can do is you can combo something like this with so, like, disappearing are... platforms yeah, I know, I, I know. So uh, honestly, I'm super excited about the, the this level helps a lot. That slide code is cool. I I've seen it so in so many different games where it puts you up and it makes you I, it's almost like it puts you into a seat mode and then it drops you somehow. I don't know. I'm, I just have to download like a slide, I think, and then take that code. Now this was these walls, assuming they don't they're not kill walls are actually uh, kind of like what I envisioned when you were talking uh, about things moving to push you off. Right, exactly. Like, so so imagine, like, a very simple Abby, but we're on stage 110. You know, in my mind, this would never fly kind of thing. And, and that's that's the problem, to be honest, because that limits uh, creation. It simply limits creation. What do you mean it limits creation? 
So, I mean, these obbies are super simple in my mind, right? Yeah. Um, we'd struggle to have something at all like this appear, you know, at all at this point because um, it's too easy. And, and, and that's not. Wait that's a minute. Crazy. Is well, that Lauren? <laughs> that's funny, it says Lauren. We should try to be their friend just because. <laughs> Because we know, no, Lauren Red is not, as far as I know, that's not. Dude, this is cool. You know, and because... Pop brick. Yeah, because, oh, because they, uh, this is the first time it splits in the entire thing. Yeah, well, you know what that means? Oh, fudge. It dropped me right back down to the stairs underneath, that was cool. Clutch. Yeah, that's good. Dude, this is out of control. This is exactly like the boss Abby I'm talking about. Made it. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah! We finally made it up. You know, that's like what they do to get to up every level. It's like consistent that way. Dude, that's genius. Honestly, that's kind of like what I'm looking for, the hook to get up between the levels, but I don't really have one. So, um, have you ever heard of a game called Guild Wars 2? So let's, okay, this is what I was going to say real quick. Because you don't know, everything is a potential kill, kill brick, right? And so you just have to assume. Like right now, you don't know this kills you. Sure, we can guess. But we've been on plenty of levels where it actually wouldn't have, if you will. Yeah. And, and so that in itself is pure ingenuity. <laughs> oh, but. See, the fact that these don't spin in my mind uh just breaks my heart like what is this person doing they they literally just jumped off the side like where where were you going i feel bad thanks uh... peace out yeah pretty much see you nerds oh wow yeah, that's, the first, that's what I'm talking about, man. Did the you, first time, what, what, did you uh, feel that? Yeah, conveyor. The first time a conveyor shows up, the conveyor script. I do have conveyor script. My conveyor script shows up before their movement script. That so, was so this is what I'm talking about, right? Remember, remember, I'm man, I'll have to find it. But like, where you physically you have to like dodge. Oh, you can if you jump. Yeah, yeah. The only way is to do it with your jump. <laughs> See, in my level, you would have had to do that all over again, because, you know, shame on you for going back. <laughs> but, like, in in my mind, that is a lot more. Like, like that is this entire length here. Speaking of uh, that, that thing right there, that's genius, because um, I've been trying to figure out ways to better implement the conveyor script and pushing people into bricks as they go forward. That's yeah, man, that's that's what I was trying to tell you about. So that, did you see the chessboard? Yeah, you see the chessboard in the uh, orange level, right? At the top. The chessboard actually kind of puts that into action. So it does push you into bricks, but it does it only on the uh, in the horizontal plane, not on the on the directional plane, not mm -hmm. the direction. Oh, there oh, it man, is. And these are moving. Yeah, here it is again. And see, in my mind, it's, yeah, it's just misleading. I would want you to know before you jumped on there that that was a conveyor. But, you know, A, it's not necessary. Dude, this, I love that. That's just artistic genius. The, uh, the uh, invisible, or the uh, half-transparent cone on top of this. On top yeah, of these things. it is kind of trippy. It is, right? And it's just for, uh, is this conveyor? No. See, now... See? What, what, so you don't even know. What I think I don't you're, know. what I think you're missing is that's part of the fun. That, that you because don't know. You don't time. know, so now you have to test it, or you have to wait and watch somebody. Like, yeah. what if these were conveyors? Yeah, no, right? Don't say. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's so much potential. It freaks me out. 
freaking the fuck out. And that's what I was telling you the other day. It's like, dude, I feel like I, I just can't possibly do it justice because there's so much potential. And as you can see right now, why I, oh my God, why I would say something like that. <laughs> oh my God, it's moving. Dude, the, this like swing set kind of thing, that's yeah. pretty cool. No, dude. And it's so simple, you know, it's just, it's simply a play on the obby that is repeated over and over and over and over and over and over again. So but it's, it's fun and it's effective and it works. There's a game called Guild Wars 2 and inside of that, it's an MMO, right? Inside of that game, there's actually mini games. So like to get a certain mount, you have to do this jumping puzzle. And literally that's all this is. It's a giant jumping puzzle. <laughs> exactly, that's all it is. Yep. Optical course. Abby is short for optical course. Blang, not really short, but yeah. Oh, fudge. Oh. I like this. With the giant, you know, I can almost assume that's a kill brick. It's not. See? But everyone would assume, but honestly it doesn't matter because why, why would you even try to go up there anyway, right? But to be honest, I probably would make it a kill break. <laughs> I think I think you're getting hung up on some deets, man. Never fun. Dude, that is cool as F. Yeah, it is. Uh, come here. I wonder if you can go down the side. Yeah, you can. Aw. Come back. You can do that. You can do that. All right, let's go. Three. All right, hold on. I'll be back in five. Double A. Yo. Nice. Right, I'm having some waffles. Just give me a minute. Aw, oh, NPNP dog. You should have told me. I'd make lunch too. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, wow. This one has its own music. On the Abbey? Yeah. Wow.
Oh man, I I see a couple. Um, look back and up in the same like pathway as us. You see that circle with the three spinning uh, poles? Hold on a second. Circle three spinning poles. Yeah. So look back and up. Back and up. Did you mean the spinning things in the rainbow corner? The spinning things in the rainbow corner? What? I'll no. look at it in a few minutes. No. No. Literally, it's in the other room. Literally look in the opposite direction of this arrow here. Like back the way that we just came and then look up. Like straight up. Not quite straight up, but at like a 45. There is a sky blue with a semi-translucent blue, and then three the blue light thing. blue spinning things. I saw the sky blue thing, and I think I know exactly. There. Oh. Oh, yeah. The sky, the block. Block box sky blue thing we're going out and talking about that when I said that side. Gotcha, yeah, no, I'm talking about that that disc. Yeah. That's okay. the kind of stuff. And then do you see the one right after it? With the yeah. moving things? Right. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know, right? This is basically I don't want to say what Roblox is famous for, but it kind of is <laughs> because in terms of accessibility both from a developer's and a, a player's standpoint this kind of like is the cream and crop <laughs> I just killed that person <laughs> oh man <sighs> Uh -huh. <clears throat> There's a long red plane. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we still got a picture of a long red in it. I'm I'm right there. You see her in front of us? Yeah. Her. Nice. Yeah. Well, then I'll send you red. Yes, I am so excited for these next levels. <laughs> I know, right? And they're they're challenging but simple, and it's like it, it makes it makes for a nice little, you know, a nice little game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, about how much longer do you have? Um, so I have to use a restroom. Three minutes. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna get up to like level 150, and then I'm gonna run and throw some stuff in the air fryer. Oh, okay, cool. And then I'll meet you. You bet. Mm. Oh, wow. That's cool.
Let's blow up those toilet. And if you want to meet me in the office, where are you now? I mean, if you want to meet me at level 150, I'll be there, bro. Oh, yeah, you did. You're there, 151, nice. I'm, uh, I'm back. Here, so back yeah, here. I was just like, uh, jiving and grooving, and then I'm like, oh, I'm at 151, time to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm make some fish sticks and french fries. Fs, yes, bro. And I'm recording, so so my lunch order is gonna go into the recording. <laughs> you do all your own uh, cropping and stuff, though, right? I don't really do any cropping. Every once and again, like. Uh, I think there was one video where you and I were talking about stuff, so I cut that piece out, or I cut the audio out. Oh, I got you. Like, you had to go, you, be, you went back and did special kind of thing? Um, actually in YouTube, I just straight up deleted the audio oh, in that yeah. time frame. Yeah. And then I, I think I put, like, some free YouTube music over it or something like that. What level are you at now? I just hit 40. Whoa, they had that green over that staircase you don't even see. Oh, because it, it's, uh, it appears and disappears. I'm really excited to integrate some of this stuff in this quicksand level. Right. And you know what? So looking at that uh, disappearing stuff, right? Yeah. Um, Tell me next time you get to a point where you stop to take notes. I'll tell you this. Uh, um, this one is noteworthy. This one where it appears in the this like <clears throat> excuse me. One where it appears and disappears. That the pink. Uh, oh, it's level one forty two. With the uh, basically walk through three gates. I can share my screen with you, I think. Dude, Wait, I, well, I, I passed Lauren Red, really? This is the one where you, uh, where, like, the, I think it's a pink kill script. Maybe not, maybe it just slows you down, you know? Oh, oh, yeah, the three gates with the, uh, no, it's it a does. kill script. It is a kill script. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, where it literally stops. Dude, what are you? Where, where are you going? Where are you straight going, man. I, I literally watched you fall. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I fell right with it because the green thing it, it makes it look like a floor. Dude, what honestly, are they do a good job about? of not like over. They they do a great job of not overdoing the rainbow. And that's that's really what I've tried to shy away from in Fib Towers doing the overdoing the rainbow. <laughs> you know, um, but I do want to add as much color as kind of necessary. See this, this is perfect. Uh, this, I don't know if this is a fall through, but this is the kind of fall through that I'm okay with kind of thing, you know. <laughs> it's uh, obviously not the same uh, transparency, but it is still a blue. A right. Blue, green, a green. Because kind of if, if it wasn't a fall through. Lauren Red. You got up to Lauren Red. And she just fell off. And then she suicided. I mean... Uh, come on, spell it right. I know, right? <laughs> uh, BT Dubs, why don't you put trails on? If you want. Yeah. Well, uh, for starters, I don't have a clue how to do that. <laughs> uh, over on your right, awards. Click that. And, and hold so for a second. Hold so. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, so send that to one. Yeah, that's that's what I was planning on doing. Let <laughs> see what you should do. So, awards on the right. 
Uh, oh, like how to set up the trails? No, yep. but I mean like in my games, like I don't know if I was gonna add that to uh, Fib Tower, for instance, I oh. wouldn't know how to do that. Right, right. I meant like right now. Why don't you do it? Yeah. Because you, you totally should. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. Whoa, look at that giant rainbow down. And Lauren just suicided again. <laughs> oh, there. It's impressive nope. how far they've gone along. I'm uh, texting Lauren right now. <laughs> I just like <texted. laughs> Is it uh, kill break or not kill break or fall through break or not fall through break? <laughs> I think it's fall through break. Oh, okay, I'm gonna see if I can do the, uh... oh, I have to turn off the uh, points. Tab. Trails, yeah. Oh, cool. It doesn't take away from it, right? You're just a it's like achievement you get? Yeah. Just because I added this uh, trail. You don't have one on in my view. Really? Yeah. Oh, now I see it. You have the stars. Lauren just said, hi, that's awesome. Yeah, I have the stars. Is the purple the kill brick? Or the pink? The pink. I keep jumping on the kill bricks. <laughs> it doesn't matter, obviously, right? But in my mind, especially the way that the points are set up, but you die once, oh, there goes all your points. Now, it would be a reason to like play over and over and over and over again, just so you know, don't get that and you get a better point. Or, but whatever. <laughs> Question about this. <laughs> Atlas wants to play. What game are you in? <laughs> yes, this is awesome. Yes. Oh, Lauren man, is like gonna... get... Uh, get up here. Yeah, Lauren's and then... trying to play Roblox. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll do one of the other games. He Just... figured it out. Atlas figured it out. <laughs> All right. He sh as he should have, obviously. Now we're friends. You can see that stuff. Oh. Dude, 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 look over to your right right now. Look over to your right right now. Uh, looking to the right. Oh, See the giant the purple slide? Watch. Where did it throw you? It, it throws you into that uh, rainbow vomit thing. There's a oh. box there. It's a checkpoint. Um, you'll have to tell me Atlas's name, and then I'll add him as well. Oh, good call. Um, he just joined. It's Neural Salta. He's like, wait, he's probably way down there. Um, let's swap over to one of the other ones then. Uh, hey, do you think you'd be able to follow us, you know? I do agree we should swap over to another one, though. Because <laughs> there ain't no way he's catching up to us, and otherwise it doesn't matter anyhow. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, more games? Right. Pick one. Tower? Uh, Tower. Oh, Mega Tower, Abby Parkour, 365 save. Yeah. Dude, that's another way to, like, so if Abby wasn't a way to search for it in um, Roblox.com, Parkour is a way to search for it. Because honestly, it's like the game really kind of came about at the same